well, uh, as soon as OPS, you know, left to the party headquarters, clashes started between both EPS and, you know, OPS factions here. In fact, right now we are standing in front of ADMK's, uh, you know, headquarters office here. And as we can see in the visuals, uh, there is clash going on between uh, both the factions. In fact, the police are trying to, you know, put barricades in between them and trying to separate them. But anyway, nevertheless, stones are being pelted from both the sides. In fact, uh, uh, several buses, cars and vans were also vandalized here. In fact, uh, uh, several of the OPS supporters, they were attacked with knife by EPS supporters and you could see them shedding blood here. The, the total area looks very dramatic and it looks very, uh, you know, very tense. Uh, hundreds of police officers, they've been put here to control the situation, but, you know, uh, evidently, very evidently, they are not able to bring the situation under control. The fight goes on. So as we can see in the visuals in the reports also, we can see stones, banners of, uh, you know, EPS being torn. In fact, uh, some of the OPS supporters, they, you know, torn down the uh, image of uh, EPS from the banners that are placed here and they burnt it with fire. In fact, uh, uh, all the EPS images that, that are in this particular place, they are being uh, burnt to... Um you know, ashes. Uh, so, uh, hundreds of police officers, they have been put here to bring the situation under control, but unimaginably, very unimaginably, the situation is not, you know, uh, being brought under control. In fact, the police are trying to do so, but they are not able to. In fact, uh, uh, the police officers, they've all, also called for additional police force to come here to bring the situation under control. So, as we can see in the visuals, they've put barricades in between both the factions, both the EPS and OPS factions, and they're trying to bring, uh, uh, you know, compromise between them, but apparently no compromise has been arrived at, at and uh, both the factions, they are you know, arguing there, stones are being pelted, vans and cars are being vandalized, and you know, people are being attacked with knife, people are shedding blood here. The situation looks very dramatic. And, you know, meanwhile, uh, while all of this is happening, uh, OPS is inside the ADMK party uh, office and he is, uh, you know, holding a meeting, a me a meeting with his supporters there. But on the other side, as you told, EPS has gone to the general body, uh, you know, meeting venue. He is uh, going to reach there in some time. And, uh, you know, now that the Madras High Court has allowed the general body meeting to go on, uh, we are expecting a uh, to be elected as the interim general secretary of ADNK, but meanwhile here the situation looks very scary. In fact, no public is allowed to come here. In fact, uh, the shops, shops are all being shut, and it's, it's all police and you know uh, EPS and OPS supporters here standing and arguing and fighting. Uh, Darini, tell us, there uh, we can see a huge contingent of police deployed there. There are huge crowds behind the barricades. What are these crowds wanting? What are they demanding? And meanwhile, what is OPS doing inside? Is he coming out? Is he expected out to calm the crowds? What are these crowds demanding? Well, uh, these crowds are of two factions. One is uh, the OPS faction and the other is the EPS faction. So uh, both of them are, you know, uh, rising slogans against each other. Each other. In fact, uh, the OPS faction is telling that uh, they want the dual leadership to continue and that they want the party to function as it used to be. But on the other side, the EPS faction is telling that they want EPS to be elected as the single leader of the party and they want EPS to be elected as the general secretary of the party. Uh, so both the factions are having different demands in their hands and they are constantly raising slogans against each other. But in fact, not only slogans, as we can see in the visuals, uh, the situation has uh, uh, turned more violent. Stones are being pelted and, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of barricades are being brought to this particular place by Chennai police to bring the situation under control. As all this is happening, EPS is inside the ADMK party office and he is uh, uh, holding a meeting with his supporters there inside. He is uh, uh, discussing about the further developments as to what you know that the Madras High Court has allowed the uh, General Council meeting to go on. He is holding a discussion with his supporters inside the ADMK party's office as to what he can do further. But meanwhile, the situation outside the office, outside the very office is very dramatic. It's very violent. It's very scary. All right, Darini, as we stay on these pictures, tell us what's expected at that General Council meeting. Remember, the Madras High Court has allowed, has given a green light for that meeting to go ahead. What's expected at that meeting together? Is EPS finally expected to take over the reins of the party? Well, uh, we are learning from sources inside the EPS camp that two important resolutions are going to be brought up at today's General Council meeting. One is that uh, the positions of both coordinator and joint coordinator are going to be totally removed from the party. In fact, you know, uh, earlier, uh, until you know, two weeks before, uh, OPS was serving as the coordinator and DPS was serving as the joint coordinator of ADMK. And it was said that both the position are learning that the OPS, uh, sorry, the EPS faction is going to bring in a resolution to remove both uh, the positions of coordinator and joint coordinator from the party. 
party and in another resolution and in different resolution uh, they're going to uh, you know uh, elect uh, interim general secretary for the AADMK and it is very likely that uh, Adapalti Palani Swami will be elected as the interim general secretary for AADMK and we're also learning that uh, you know discussions to elect a permanent general secretary general secretary will also take place because you know now at this point in time we can only elect an interim general general secretary but you know after that you, can, you should conduct an election and uh, somebody should win in that election to become the permanent general secretary so you know today we are learning that EPS might be you know elected as the interim general secretary and discussions will be held to elect a uh, you know permanent general secretary through election but you know from uh, from the situation uh, here we can see that you know most of these people most of the ADMK cadre and most of the uh, you know uh, ADMK supporters they are backing EPS now so there's it's, it's very likely that uh, EPS is uh, you know soon going to become the permanent general secretary of ADMK but on the other hand uh, OPS might approach the uh, you know high court or supreme court further to uh, stall the uh, development and to you know uh, to, uh, uh, to maintain status quo. Darini, uh, let's talk about the politics over here. Now, OPS camp is on the losing side, it seems, at the moment. He is strategizing there at the AIADMK party headquarters. He has not gone to the general council meeting uh, today that uh, paves way for EPS's takeover. Now, how is he planning to fight back? Remember, he is from the influential Tevar community. So he may be having considerable political backing. So is the AIADMK... Uh, prepared, the EPS faction prepared to, uh, uh, to, you know, let go of the support of that community and how is EPS trying to build his clout and fight back? No, when we talk about uh, OPS boycotting uh, today's general body meeting, we have to remember what happened during the previous general body meeting. You know, last year when OPS went to the meeting venue, he was humiliated, water bottles were thrown at him and EPS supporters were constantly raising slogans against him and they told him to get out of the venue. So he was uh, very evidently humiliated last time when he went to the venue. So that might be one of the reasons why he boycotted today's meeting. Uh, so and, uh, as we are telling, it's, it's confirmed that OPS has boycotted today's meeting. He's inside this very office and he's connecting a meeting with his supporters uh, you know, uh, and talking about you know, further developments. But meanwhile, as you are uh, talking about support you know, within the party, uh, we already know that uh, a majority of the district secretaries and majority of the general council members, they are backing EPS. In fact, 90 percentage of the district secretaries, 90 percentage of the general council members, they are backing EPS, and that's the one primary reason why EPS can be, you know, elected as the interim general secretary and then the uh, permanent general. Secretary of AADMK. So when we talk about uh, the uh, cadre support, uh, of course EPS is having a, a very good support among uh, the Tevar community, uh, uh, especially in the you know uh, these uh, uh, southern districts of uh, Tamil Nadu. While uh, you know um, OPS is having support uh, among people in the western uh, districts of Tamil Nadu. But however, uh, at this point in time, when we talk to analysts, they are telling that uh, it's, 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 uh, it's good for ADMK to have a single leadership because, you know, uh, when uh, when we talk about this tussle between ADMK, uh, uh, the constant one uh, complaint that the EP supporters they've been putting along was that if, if, if two leaders are there, there's, there's delay in decision making and that, uh, you know, there's a delay in uh, bringing in a compromise whenever there's an issue because both of the leaders have to approve uh, one thing, both of the leaders have to, you know, uh, uh, bring in a compromise to approve one thing. So there's, there's an apparent delay. So the EPS Camp, they are telling that they do not want that delay and that delay is not letting the party function properly. So that's the main reason why they are demanding a single leadership now and uh, they have been taking steps to uh, you know, uh, to uh, change AADMK into a single leadership party for the past two months. This has it's been going on for the past two months as we remember. So the, the day has finally come and now that the Madras High Court has also given permission to conduct the General Council meeting. Uh, the EPS camp, they are very happy now. In fact, uh, they will be electing EPS as the interim general secretary uh, today. It's, but on the other side, OP he is losing support today. In fact, you know, one month before, around 15 district secretaries, they were supporting OPS. But right now, only three or four district secretaries are supporting OPS. So his support has come, you know, down day after day, day after day. You know, each day, one or two district secretaries and, you know, hundreds of general council members, they went from yes. OPS side to EPS side. So his support has, you know, evidently come down day after day. And right now, he is, you know, at the ADMK head office here, connecting a meeting with very less support compared to what EPS is enjoying.